It was the checkmate, dude. Rock. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So, looks like we got Deep Blue and Phoenix here. Tony! What's up, Tony? <laughs> cool. Yo, it's a party. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the chat today. This is awesome. We got Don Quavius, got Tony Guava, Otters. Dude, Uncle. it's not even the fake Don. It's the JK. real Don Quavius. No, sorry, the real Don Quavius. I guess there's a fake Don Quavius. You gotta uh, let him know. That man has some shenanigans. I'm just letting you know. I wonder who the fake Don Quavius would be. Does anybody else even play Green Ninja in this state? Dylan. Dylan. Okay, yeah, I do remember that. Or at least like Dylan saying, he's probably the second best uh, Green Ninja in the state. Yeah, we're getting tips. What up? Yo. We're getting the tips though. Now we're learning. Oh, nice. This is good. Cause, like honestly, I never get any bail practice. That's why I like to play to bow. Yeah, we act. Tony, we actually yeah. have to play each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right into it. Game one. Phoenix deep blue. Oh, <laughs> beat him the ditto. Uh, you heard it here. Second second best Greninja is Tony Guava. <laughs> Okay, so we got Deep Blue doing some good Mario combos. Fox, a fast baller, going to definitely be able to rack up those easy combos. Yeah, this matchup's supposed to be even because Fox has really good frame data. He can kind of like run away, get hits in and all that. He can't combo Mario super well unless he gets like some up air strings. Um, but Mario, as you said, can combo Fox really hard. Right. Yeah, I can, see, I can definitely see why he's even. I think Mario walls Fox out decently well. And he is... Good frame data. I, I think Fox is just a little bit better. Uh, I wonder if uh, if Phoenix is ready to tech that. I, I thought uh, Deep Blue was going to go for an upbeat to try stage spike him. It's, a lot of people don't like they kind of anticipate the back air when you fall off, but if you mix up your timing, maybe it, you could mix up his uh, tech time. Yeah, Phoenix is also pretty good at teching. I've, I've played him a couple myself. He is, yeah, but even good players who like get caught off guard. Yeah. Oh, he, no, he, wow. got, he got out, yeah. You gotta get them, like, right above you. If they, like, air dodge and get hit by the bottom, they're normally safe. But if you get hit by, like, the top where his head is, that was a good up smash. Um, nice. It'll keep him in, and you'll get the strong hit. But because he hit him near the bottom, I'm, that's the weak hit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think Phoenix noticed that Ben was sort of just running up and trying to bait something out. So he's just like, I'm gonna go up and up smash you. If it works, it works. Yeah, this is yeah, that's why it's scary because now Mario can just get the kill really easy. Oh, oh yeah, there's there the up smash. Good tech roll. That's the Ben or the deep blue. <laughs> he always gets that up smash no matter where you are. That's the scary thing about Mario is he. I think his main punish game or like big punish game, taking out stocks is just off of tech reads or like rolling roll reads stuff like that. Which is why he's so scary. Up smash covers a ton of range. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But he's got his combos on point here. We can see. It. Okay, and Phoenix uh, dying that well. Let's we'll see if he gets the back. Oh, soft hit. Almost got the second hit of back air. It was a good thing he didn't get the air dodge instead of the, um, you know, trying to tech because that could have put him really low, enough to where he could make it back. But then he'd have he'd have a good shot at getting Mario forward aired. Right. Yep. Good DI away. Not even trying to challenge that. He's an up smash percent. He's got to watch it. Yeah, this is where it gets scary because when you have to approach, you can just run right into an up smash. Yeah, like, like that. that. Yeah, good call. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's going to need to be careful. He could do have a couple up airs. If he got up air, land on that platform, like right doing a second up air, and then got a third one, that might have killed. But he's going to have to get that up air first or that up tilt to set it up. I think Defensive Fox is a super scary character to play against. Oh, yeah. I wish I played defensive enough. Because, <laughs> like, true. if you have to approach Fox, just, like, his frame data alone, maybe it's just come from a Mewtwo perspective, it's just awful. Oh, no, you can get, you can get dash hack, grab, perfect pivot, up tilt, jab. Like, he has, he has a lot of stuff to just keep you out. He yeah. could, he could uh, jump back air and space it. Like, there's just so much stuff that you can do. And you never know, like, you know, he gets you to approach, and then randomly he can turn on a dime and just be in your face. Oh, yeah. And once he gets you in the air, it's just a bad time. Yeah. One thing I'd like to see from Phoenix Moore is I don't see him using lasers at all to try to force approaches. Yeah, he might I know be, that with the reflector, but... Yeah, he might not want to get it caped, but he could stand and shoot one or two every once in a while. Get It's free damage, and it un, it, re, it freshes up some moves in the move queue. Right. I think Phoenix is just starting to get a little on tilt because he's approaching a little recklessly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's kind of a reckless player, though. <laughs> that's true. He does. He's a super high risk, high reward player. I like the stall there, but that's oh, gonna be dead. Tried to go from above on Mari. You can't do that. Yeah. Not when you're in kill percent. <laughs> Took me a lot of up smashes to get used to that. One. <laughs> All right. Nice. Good kill off the top. Nope. Oh, oh I think Coming he's going to go for the Firefox again. I like the soft nair to up smash. Just didn't get the strong hit, though. He touched. He's good. <laughs> he went for the reflect. Yeah, he, he did that a lot against me in my set. He would try to, like, reflect off the ledge and then side beyond the stage, but I don't really think that's the best way to get back on stage. He tries to turn around so he can back air. Oh, my gosh. He went for it. I respect it. Because uh, if he turns around after shining uh, and back airs, it'll be lagless. Okay. The fox is scary. Fox can do every. Oh no. Uh, fox can do every aerial from the ledge, and it can be lagless except Nair. Jeez. Yeah, it's just it's tricky with some of them. I don't think I've ever seen a fox back air without the auto cancel frames. Eh. Yep. Oh, oh, there it is. Very clean. You give him a plunger, oh. dude. <laughs> that's, that's what's called a melee. The plunger. <laughs> Very clean from deep blue. Oh, we got, see, we got the insider news.